welcome back to my channel i know it has been a while and if you're new welcome 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 so i just got back from a cardio session i thought i would kind of update you guys on where i'm at i know it's been a while and i'm so sorry um one i kind of wanted wanted to give it some time where i could i would have a enough of a difference to really give you an update so i just wanted to make sure that my next update with you guys was going to be enough of an update where there would be a difference i don't know if that makes sense because there was a while where for a couple weeks i was pretty much i was seeing a difference so i didn't want to change anything i didn't change my um, gym routine i didn't change um, my nutrition i didn't i didn't none of that was changing because my, I was seeing differences in my body. These things look wild. I don't know what's happening. Okay, so anyways, um, so I wanted to give enough time where um, I had something to talk about with you guys, you know what I mean? And it wasn't the same old, same old. So now we are at a little less than eight weeks. It's like 56 days, I think, 55 days. Um, so things have changed. So now that I'm getting closer, my calories have cut again about 200 calories down. So my calories have decreased a little bit by a couple hundred. I have decreased my fat a little bit more and my carbs just a tiny bit, um, but still keeping my protein my highest. So before my workout is CLA, which is like a fat burner, a scoop of BCAs, which I was only doing after my workouts, now I'm including it before my workouts. And I'm also including um, a scoop of creatine before my workouts and after my workouts or before I was only including it after my workout and that's just for um, muscle repair and kind of endurance to make me be able to work out better stronger and not be exhausted so quick so those are really the only things I have incorporated before my workout that I was only doing after my workout so CLA BCAs creatine CLA, BCA, creatine before my workouts. After is BCA's creatine and then a big ass carb meal. And then throughout the day is just really lean meals. So I'm incorporating fish. I hate, hate fish. Like um, Friday I had my last like meal of the day, my dinner. And it was cod, asparagus, and um, sweet potatoes. I literally was like dry heaping. I can't do the fish. It's the worst. Um, but that's it's just lean. And between that and um, ground turkey, lean ground turkey is like what my meals really consist of. Um, so we'll get into that really. Just I'm pretty much at a very structured, very routine day-to-day um, -day meals one because I know that it fits my macros perfectly and two um, it's just it's giving me results so mornings usually consist of I don't eat before I work out I can't I need a fasted um, workout because I feel like on an empty stomach I'm my strongest I can give my all if I eat before even if it's something light I just, I feel sluggish. I feel tired. I feel like that constant nausea, nauseous feeling. I don't, I can't do it. So my breakfast, breakfast before a workout is coffee. I'm doing black coffee or unsweetened cold brew. We end creamer and I'm doing a couple of tablespoons, whatever the serving size is. I think it's two tablespoons just to give me something. I used to do, I was talking, to, talking about this to a client the other, I mean, um, a coworker the other day about how two years ago, two, two summers, three summers ago now, I used to do 10 and 10 in my coffee, 10 sugars, 10 cream. That's disgusting, it's so bad. And now here I am like pretty much drinking black coffee, like it's insane. So that is my breakfast. And then I go to the gym, do my training or whatever. And then when I come home, usually it's egg whites, four ounces of egg whites. Um, and then my supplements. Sometimes I will also add in a protein shake, um, but for the most part, that's pretty much it. Maybe a yogurt, organic, fat-free, whatever. Um, yogurt, organic yogurt. Um, 
lunch is some sort of fish or lean ground turkey. Asparagus is my favorite and or, and or spinach, like a salad. Um, and sweet potatoes is where my carbs come in. I'm here and there throwing in a rice cake with almond butter, but it's very rare, like that's my sweet tooth. And then dinner is the exact same thing. So I'm doing a lot of meal prepping, that way I don't have to think about it. I can just grab my meal, eat, and I'm done. I know what I'm recording in my app, which I have in here, um, the My Fitness Pal. So it's just this little, like it tells you pretty much, like you literally can, you know, put in all your stuff, your diary, and kind of log everything in. Um, that's been great, and it really visually makes me realize what I used to eat now. I mean, now I don't even have, I could probably not have to track and know how much I'm eating throughout the day, but it, I just like being held responsible, and I like, I don't know, I just like being accountable and writing everything down. If I have a treat, um, I'm kind of doing like once a week, one cheat meal, and cheat meal is really not a cheat, I guess. I'm still staying within my macros, uh, but just something that's a little bit higher in fat. Um, I'm really not going overboard. I'm not going and having a piece of cheesecake, a cheeseburger, french fries, and chips or something. You know what I mean? I'm not overdoing my cheat meals, but it makes me feel like when we go out to dinner, I feel like I can order something. It just it makes me feel better, and it makes it easier to get through the next week, if that makes sense. Um, so that's pretty much where my diet consists of. Um, this has been my friend and I got to start wearing it again. I missed this whole week just because I wanted to get some cardio in and I was fitting it around my work schedule. But the sweet set, sweet sweat wrap, body wrap. I love it. It just kind of gets a little bit more, uh, sweating, I guess. Just kind of get as much water out of my midsection as possible. It, but it, it's not a waist trainer. It doesn't, it's not going to mold and shape your stomach whatsoever all it's going to do is make you sweat more and i also have the oil that like you rub on your stomach it just kind of helps me sweat a little bit more than normal but doesn't alter the shape of me that's all diet and working out you know so really it's just the caloric deficit of eating less than you're burning off or burning off more than you're eating. Well, that's really pretty much where everything's at right now. I'm just in the gym a lot more, up to my cardio days. I'm still 30 minutes um, is pretty much max for cardio, but I kind of alter what I do. I never, each workout, including cardio, I'm not doing at a moderate to easy level. I'm not because your body's going to get used to it. It's going to adapt to what you're doing and you're not going to get anywhere. So it's, you might as well have not worked out to be honest. So I want to build up a sweat. I want my heart rate to be skyrocketed and lowered and skyrocketed. So you're constantly in a fat burning at a fat burning rate, I guess you could say. So at each week, each day, I'm, I'm just changing what I do for the cardio, for weight training, and pushing myself to this day. Um, I'm, the cardio upping is really to just try to hurry up and burn more fat um, and just shred and show all the muscle that I've built. Um, I will show you a little bit of where my body is at and maybe throw in a clip or two. And yeah, if you guys have any questions, uh, definitely leave them in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer or if I'm getting a lot of them I'll just do another video and kind of go over all the questions and I also want to say before I get to showing my body uh, that I'm at 20 subscribers which I think is pretty cool um, but I am going to do a huge fitness giveaway once I reach 100 subscribers um, it's gonna be including a protein um, probably a BCA and then either a pre-workout or something along those lines um, and then a sweet sweat package as well so don't forget to, sub sh to share and subscribe and hopefully we get to the 100 and then you can do a massive giveaway so let's get on to the body. <laughs> Yeah.
Alright y'all, I hope this video wasn't all over the place and answered any questions you guys have. And I will see you in my next